here we are in Brighton at the Royal Pavilion, which was built by George IV. When you come to an extraordinary building like this, it's not like a blank walls of a museum. This is already has an extremely strong character. So you have to go with it. So this room is such a challenge because it's the most spectacular room in the planet. I think when I come into a place like this, I hope to have no thoughts at all because what you want to do is just assimilate the place, not be conscious within it. You don't want to judge it, you just want to feel. In a way, that's why to understand it, to appreciate art, never ever take a photograph of it, because it's how your retina experiences it and your brain experiences it is the most important thing, not your consciousness. Then it can have a real influence. I love it. I mean, it's funny showing my work here because I've always been inspired by this and um, it's a bit like a dream. I mean, the whole place is like a dream. This experience is, is like a dream. Just put it to bed. Sweet dreams, little bird. I don't really talk to all my hats, just occasionally. Hi, darling, how are you? Good evening, Your Royal Highness. I'm so happy you could come this evening and I hope you like the hat that I made for you. Skepta, hi. Good evening. Hi, baby, how are you? Jennifer Lawrence, I wonder if you can do that one, and how long can you hold that pose? And this is maybe one of the most important hats in my life. This is one I made for Diana, Princess of Wales. Adwa. Kate, I hope you, hang on a second. Let me just adjust your tail. Here's Kate's tail. She's got many tales to tell. I hope you have a great time together. Of course, you two know each other. So good evening, thank you, and have a wonderful dinner. Martha, baby, how are you? You look fantastic. I hope you like your new chef's toque with the matching spoon trim, you'll never lose that. Do you know Mark Jacobs? Yes, you're old friends, aren't you? Well, so of course, this is Mark Jacobs' big apple that we made for him years ago. Do you know Matty Boven? I'm not exactly sure what's on the menu this evening, but we've got onion soup. Um, you could have a fry up, other little fishy hats, and this fantastic whale with a veil. What else do you need? And this is one of my favorite hats of all time. Quite often I say that I can make a hat out of anything. And once I said I could make a hat out of a peanut butter sandwich. Each hat tells a story. And I think it was when I started to work with John Galliano that that dream or that story really came true. His clothes were all about the story and not really how they appeared, but how they made you feel. And hats as well are not only how they look, it's the confidence they give you, it's the spirit that they give you. I mean, 
Everybody says you should be yourself, but actually it's quite nice to be somebody else. And a hat can be that transformative. You know, people talk about the symbol of royalty. It's not the royal shoe, it's the royal hat, and the royal hat is a crown. It's a combination of power, majesty, money, religion. So in the early 80s, there was a great friend of Vivian Westwood's and mine, this chap called Philip Salon, and he was a, very inspirational to her, and he used to make crowns out of white napkin. From that, we developed together the idea of the tweed crown that you see in the back. And it was very famously worn by Sarah Stockbridge in a photograph by Nick Knight. And one of my favorite hats in the exhibition is this little crown, which is made out of knitted Susie Menkers. So, Susie, this is a tribute to you. And for the king, I wonder if he had a teddy bear. I made a little crown for him anyway. This crown of teddy bears was in the Volga exhibition, which was at the Barbican, and then went to Vienna, and then went to Belgium afterwards. So these bears have traveled. So this hat's a monster. And why is it on a bed? Because that's what you dream of or have nightmares about as a monster. This was a hat that I made for the Belgian designer Walter van Burendonck. But somehow, I don't like the idea of hats just laid on a bed. Hats have got to be, as in France they say spirituel, they should not be of this earth. Hi, darling, how are you? You look fantastic in that. <laughs> We've been having a good party. I love this hat, and this dress is by none other than Giles Deacon. And your friend up there, she looks great too. Come further down the stairs here. It's Anna Cleveland. Hi, Anna, how are you? I love the fact that you're positioned here with your mum, Pat Cleveland. When I first started in the fashion business, she really held my hand and guided me through everything. Anyway, good night, darling. I'm going home now. <laughs>